um, you know, another thing I would say is um, never be afraid to invest in yourself. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm just not starting a recording. I am a bad host. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Oh, so uh, I know your uh, selfless love is like sharing the importance of loving yourself. What do you have? Any advice or anything you can add to that? On loving yourself? Yeah. Absolutely. So um, everything I do is my whole brand is called selfless love. And it's called selfless love. And a lot of people look at selfless and they think, oh, and I'm not, you know, I'm not dealing with that, you know, I don't want to be taken advantage of or, or, or abused or mis misused, which is rightfully so. But mm -hmm. selfless love really and only honestly and truly with my brand is to number one, first love yourself. Yes. Because if you don't love yourself, you cannot love anyone else in such a way that you would consider selflessly, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so um, my belief system is the Lord. I do believe in Christ. I do believe uh, I have a relationship with God, number one. Um, but, you know, one of the things that came to me as far as selfless love is, you know, that was what was spoken into me was you have a selfless heart. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand what that meant until I really started to do the self work. Yeah. And again, when you're married, you're a mom, you know, you're being pulled here, pulled there, coworker, you know, all of those different things. Sometimes you do lose yourself or you can mm -hmm. lose yourself if you don't have that self accountability, self reflection and mm -hmm. things like that. And so one of the things that I've always done was I encourage myself. I speak positive affirmations over my life, no matter what the storms, no matter what's going on. I always, you know, speak to me. I speak life back into me. Because they always say, like, a lot of people who are givers, you give, 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 but then your cup mm -hmm. is empty. Yes, yes. You know, and sometimes when it's empty, you, who do you go to when everybody else is pulling on you? Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, well, uh, sometimes you have to fill yourself up, your cup up, you know, and set those boundaries. And set those boundaries. Um. For yourself so that's what i consider to be you know self-care self-love um mm -hmm. you know just taking the time out to, to truly love yourself speak to yourself empower and encourage yourself yes yes uh so uh what you have something about a donor like a heart was a your husband had a a donor heart or heart. was it my husband a heart, had a heart transplant okay Yes, yeah, so he had a, a tr heart transplant, and I really haven't touched on the donor aspects as of yet, but I am going to. Mm -hmm. um, the launch of the nonprofit, it is it is founded and everything, mm -hmm. you know, but I mean, it's formed. Everything mm -hmm. is done, mm -hmm. but um, June 11th is when I'm really going to be speaking a lot more about seeking val volunteers and things like that. Okay. So my husband had a heart transplant, and when he transitioned, he also was a donor. So he signed mm -hmm. up to be a donor. Okay. And in the beginning of the process, we were praying, not like we were not, we were self, we, I tried to be selfless, right? Yes. Not uh -huh. selfish. Uh -huh. So we had to remember that when you're praying for someone, for your spouse, your loved one to have an organ, someone is actually losing a loved one. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. And so, that's a, that's a, you know, that's a, a catch 22, you know? Mm -hmm. And so always being selfless and not selfish in that, mm -hmm. um, my husband became a donor himself. So I got to literally live on both sides of that. I had to endure both sides of what that looked like. And I had never done that before on either side, you know, okay. on one side of the spectrum, he was with me, but on the other side, I was the one who had to endure him being a donor, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, and so for me, you know, I feel like giving back and just letting people who are going through this type of journey know that, especially the, the patients, absolutely, you mm -hmm. know, but the caregivers, the ones who have to literally walk the walk, mm -hmm. you know, with, beside them, mm -hmm. to, to just let them know that, that I see you. We mm -hmm. see you. I, I personally understand, 
Yeah. You know, and um, if I could do anything to at least support or give resources or any of that, that's that's what Selfless Love and Active Beat nonprofit is all about. Okay. Because uh, I, I, well, I worked in the uh, hospital uh, for about 15 years and I've seen the donor uh, uh, process and sometimes I feel like they're selfish when they're trying to get the organs. So I would, if you, by you starting your nonprofit, please touch on that too, about them, you know, coming into the family, you know, like hard. I mean, they, they looking for organs. That's just so tough. And it to is. see that. And it's so just, I, Tina, I actually had to endure that. Mm -hmm. And I never in my whole entire life, I, I never, I was never in that, in that world to even understand what all of that, you know, they say, be a donor, sign up to be a donor mm -hmm. or don't be a donor. However, but to literally get a call, not even six hours after your loved one passed away saying mm -hmm. that you got to answer 150 questions. Yeah. And you haven't even processed your, 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 your trap, your, your grief. I mean, yeah. not even grief. You haven't even processed the yeah. loss. You know yeah. what I mean? It was traumatic. It was a traumatic experience, um, but one that I guess God knew that he, I would be right here at this time, yes. speaking on this, um, you know, this, and, um, you know, making people more aware of the things that they don't, that they, they don't, you know. Know about, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And actually <laughs> being able to help, like, so the volunteers, what they will do is they will be sitters. They can be virtual sitters, depending upon the circumstances of the, re the transplant, you know, recipient, mm -hmm. um, but they will allow for the caregiver to have a day of self-care, like five or six hours mm -hmm. of self-care any way they want it in a, in a respectful and healthy way. So they yeah. can do a spa day, they can do many petty barber shops, hair done, whatever yes, it yes. looks like for them, you know, yeah. and, um, to bring, to bring more resources and awareness as well. Yeah, and I, you see the, uh, they've been started doing this thing, it's the walk, the last walk, I can't think, I forget the name of it, where they walk the uh, the family and the patient down to, you know, get the, uh, the uh, that's, that was moving up my first time seeing that, and uh, it's a different uh, take on it than what I've seen when I worked in the hospital, because that's been a while ago since I worked in, I hadn't seen it done like that before, where they actually comfort in the family and stuff like that, so I seen it the rough way. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, didn't see it. I didn't see it the way where they was more loving. It was like, you know, I want it, I want it, I want it. And it was just terrible. I'm just telling wow. you. I, that made me not want to be a donor. That's how bad it was. Wow. Well, for me, there was there were a lot of things that um I'm a, you know, I'm one that I'm going, I'm I'm doing pretty well through my grief, you know. So yeah. um one thing I know is that my purpose is above all. And my husband transitioned when God said it was his time and that's out of my control. But yeah, what is in my control is to continue to live, live in purpose, keep his name alive, um, mm. you know, keep our legacy alive. Yes. And to to be the change, you know, mm. and, and what I mean by that is it takes a village, you mm. know, and um, the way our world is going, everything is is really all AI. Mm -hmm. you know, technology and things like that. And yeah. people get lost in that to where they, they're not empathetic or compassionate any longer. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to, however God wants to use me, that's yeah. what I'm here to do. And um, it's good to have you though, to be able to you. do that. It's good to have you be able to do that because I'm, t it's, I, that's been a long time ago for me. So I'm, I'm over that now, but I just thought, well, then to hear your story and to say that you are you willing to do something to help is just wonderful. Thank you. Uh, okay, and also uh, you have you network. You what do you think about networking with other people uh, for it in your business? Like you know you have your fragrance. Do you do pop ups? Do you do uh, what actually you do to uh, promote your uh, fragrance line and uh, how people can get in touch with you if they actually want to purchase. Absolutely. So um, right now I do, I have a, a website. Mm -hmm. um, I've been, my fragrance has been um, on the BET awards for, um, it was last June, June 26th of last, last year for the women, mm -hmm. all the, the women. 
Mm -hmm. um, right now, I'm 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 in a short film called Him, and okay. that was directed by uh, Marcus Lucas, mm -hmm. and um, his his actual film production company is called Act Out Media, uh -huh. LLC. Okay. And um, so yeah, so we just he just won a nomination. He won um for the Texas Filmmakers Indies Awards here, mm -hmm. and that was a phenomenal. So I congratulate mm -hmm. him. The commercial yeah. was in it. Um, you know, my commercial, my fragrance commercial. I was literally, I was um, an official sponsor and also an, an executive producer. Okay. Of a short film. And so um, I'm on Facebook and everything. Selflesslovefragrance.com is the website that you can go to. You can Google Selfless Love Fragrance and it'll pop up for Walmart and Amazon as well. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. but I didn't know you was in the film. I voted for that when you sent the link to me, you know, the, for us to get the vote. I didn't know you were in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. my commercial was in it. My perfume line is in it. Um, and you'll see like the whole selfless love brand and everything. So, you know, um, the boss ladies of Dallas, uh -huh. um, it, they're, they're also a part of it. They have a reality TV show. So it's amazing. I mean, there's some great things happening, you know, and that's how I've been advertising. I've been very intentional. Uh -huh. I have been to a few pop-up shops. Mm -hmm. I am in the um, Black Perfumers International oh. Circle. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so there's a lot of things, you know, it may not go as fast as it's planned, but that's okay because everything is in God's time. Yes, so, yes, always. And networking, <laughs> mm -hmm, and networking, um, you know, I believe that those with like-minded, you know, hearts and business minds and things like that. Yes, absolutely. I am open to networking, you know, um, I'm open to, to I think, uh, you know, but networking is actually a, a very powerful thing for real, you know. And so yeah. um, um, it really is. And we need each other. You can't, yeah. you can't do it by yourself. Yeah. You know? It's harder. It, why, why do it by yourself? Why? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's enough room for everybody. So. Yes, okay. Uh, would you have any opinions on collaboration over competition? You know, like other people in the fragrance line or anything that you're doing, what are your opinions on collaboration over competition? Great, 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 great um, question. So for me, collaboration is amazing as well. I'm actually, um, I have a platform where you can be, if you would like to start your own fra fragrance line, I have three levels of that to where I can coach you and show you the tips and tools and everything um, to, to create your own. Collaborating, like I just was, I just touched on about the um, Black Perfumer Circle. Mm -hmm. We're all perfumers. We all have Cologne and Perfume Labs internationally, UK, Africa, United States, you know, globally. Um, and it's phenomenal to see that we can come together and support each other and we do the same thing, right? Okay. But, but like how I said all the time is we all are unique. Yes. All of us. And yes. So. I was, uh, I have a, a client that's doing a perfume line. I remember I was telling you about it and I'm going to uh, see if I can hook y'all, y'all up. Okay. Like, uh, cause I know you said you have the, uh, maybe about the networking stuff that you do to help them. Uh, they're out of Houston though, they, but that's not far from Dallas. They travel, they're truck drivers. So they stay gone all the time. Okay. So. Uh, maybe connect and then you know collaborate on some things maybe uh, or, uh also uh I was going to talk about uh you're also in my magazine black to black magazine Ooh, yeah. yes <laughs> and uh and we uh we collaborate like I did the talk I did your your radio show and you did my ready my talk show right now and you're also in my magazine uh but I try to uh encourage everybody and like give them different opportunities through my networking as well as you give some of my the people that's in my magazine opportunity to be on your radio uh, uh talk show so I was like I always believe in collaborating over competition because I mean we all win better together absolutely uh so uh do you have uh any uh you say you have what's the organization you have foundation you started it's called Selfless Love and Active Beat, which is I, what I did with this is Selfless Love is my brand. 
and mm-hmm. my husband had his own brand as well. Okay. So when he passed, I merged, you know, so I merged our, our brands together okay. to create the nonprofit um, name, which is Selfless Love and Active Peace. Okay. Uh, so what are some of the things you do for self-care? So one of the things I love to do for self-care, number one, is I always, I read my Bible. Because mm-hmm. for me, I feel like, you know, no matter how I feel or what's going on, God's word is always, you know, going to bring you through or give you something that you need to keep you fueled um, and to remember, to remember his promises. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, we're living in a world where it's, it's very, very trying and it's not yeah. all just about business, you know, or just about this or that. No, um, if you don't take care of yourself, you can have a successful business, Mm -hmm. you know, but then it can all crumble. And then what? And it's because you hadn't taken care of you. So I, I read my Bible, you know, I listen to, um, I love listening to inspirational music. I'm a soul person. So anything that, you know, makes me feel better, um, getting rest, getting rest is self-care. Yes, yes, it is. You know, I, I just, I'm like, that's one of the things that's very important. I hear people say a lot, they don't sleep and this and that. Well, guess what? You need rest to be able yes. to sleep right <laughs> and do things <laughs> right. Um, I, 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 you know, I do my, uh, I get my nails done. So a lot of people say, well, you know, that they don't look at that as self-care, but it is. Yes. Um, getting your nails and your toes and stuff like that, it can be self-maintenance, but it's also self-care. Mm-hmm. you know um, uh, pampering yourself a little bit pampering yourself, yes. <laughs> yeah i yeah. take myself out on dates mm-hmm. I do. yes yeah I love on my, yourself <laughs> i love on myself yeah i really do i take myself out you know i do things for myself um and that's what and that's what i do i even have a counselor you know for mm-hmm. a grief counselor mm-hmm. that's a part of self-care yeah. You know, because I don't want to be one that bleeds on, on my clients or, or my, or any of them, my family or business, mm-hmm. my child, you know, my daughter, she's an adult, but guess what? She's married. So I'm, I'm actually, actually her example yes. of how to get through this journey when, you know, the way when they're older, 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 elder, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, you know, but, um, I have, I have people looking at me. I do. I have, I have nephews, nieces. You know, my parents and I'm, a, mm-hmm. I'm the oldest of my siblings. Mm-hmm. I have the world, you know, whoever comes in contact with me is truly looking at me. Yeah. And that's important, you know. And so um, I'm not always at my best. I'm not. Yeah. I'm We're human. human. We're human. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but um, so I'm not here to, to sell anything that's not real, you know, and I just feel like, feel like too selfless, self care is being your authentic self. It's loving you for who you are, who God made you to be. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, loving on yourself. That's very important because mm-hmm. if you don't love you, who else going to love you? <laughs> they, yeah. And that's why it's important, like, a relationship coach. You know, I always do self-love and relationship. A lot of times they'll ask me, well, how can you going to help me find me somebody or, you know, and things like that. And I'm like, well, it starts with you. And then they're like taken back and I'm like, but it, it, it really does. Yes, it does. You know, huh? do you know what you like? Mm-hmm. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite food? You know, what mm-hmm. places do you want to see or travel to? I mean, what type of activities do you like? And, so, and a lot of times they don't know. Yeah. Don't even think about it. <laughs> right. So you're, so when you, when you're in a relationship or already married, you know, cause sometimes you just go with the flow. But again, those things are missing and you're wondering what's wrong. It's because you don't know exactly what it is and who you are and vice versa, you know? Yeah. But um, so that's why self-love is definitely important. Yes, it is. Uh, so do you have any last comments or encouragement that you would like to tell the audience or give them? Yes, I would like to say, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, do it. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't worry about, you know, all the hype and those that are or above, like going, they're already successful and everything like that because we all have a starting point and we all have an ending point. The key is to never give up. 
believe in yourself, take care of yourself, love you, and yeah. know that loving you will allow you to love others the way you would want to be loved, truly. Yeah. So that's what I have. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, we had some te technical difficulty, difficulties at first, but we made it through and I thank you for being patient. <laughs> it's okay. And thank you for having me. Thank you yeah. very much for having me. And thank you. Lord, I'm going to put a poll up here. <laughs>